Welcome to the channel. Right now, we're gonna be going over price analysis, technical analysis on Solana. Okay, right now, this is the first time I'm doing this on the channel. Like the video if this is one you like me to continue doing. Comment, yeah. So, stop talking, let's get into the charts. Right, so right now it's 7.22. Daily just closed around 7 o'clock. So we are analyzing of a close price act on the daily, right? Now, initially, just from looking at it, we can see they, all day was bearish, right? We've reached a low of $80 on Solana, which is insane. Because earlier this year, we had a, well, last year, we had a high of 258 So price more than took out half of the price, right? Anyway, but bulls came in around the end and pushed price back up to $91, right? So, can be said, price may be starting to find support, or maybe we will start to consolidate a bit in this area before going up or continuing down, right? So, let's go on the 4-hour to see if we get a better insight of what's to come. On the 4-hour, what we see, or what I see, is we have first price breaking the support. Confer this is seen right by these two candles, that one and that one. So, price initially, for me, a broken support is and you have a bearish close below the level, which you can see right here, and then a second bearish candle closing below the level. That confirms the break of support, right? So, now having that break, what we're waiting for is price to come do its retracement and find some sort of resistance, and then a bearish entry reason to the downside, right? So, we see price right here. This right here is the retracement cycle right now the most recent four hour candle which closed about which was uh, about 25 minutes ago closed like this which was a nice decent push to the upside and bears seem to have entered the market so an entry reason now would be this four hour candle engulfing this candle right here right but this is a brand new four hour candle so we gotta wait and see so let's drop it to one hour now on the one hour we get a better Kind of inside of what occurred to cause this far kind of close like this so on the one hour we see we had that bullish push and then one two three four hour four candles after this bullish push was all were all bearish right so on, on the one hour what i'm what i'm seeing is we had a bullish move and then basically uh you can almost say this is a retracement i'm sure this is a retracement on the 15 minute for sure See, for sure, 30 minutes as well, right? But that being a retracement, by saying it's a retracement, it's kind of, it means that we're, I'm expecting it to probably finally find some sort of su support and pushing up some, which could occur. But looking at the this bearish volume on the day, on the one hour, this could actually just maybe move sideways a little bit and continue down, right? That could occur. You just kind of have to wait and see. So I'm gonna put this here, and when this, if this bearish or this bullish counter trend line breaks. That would be a good indicator that of a, a, a break of the bullish pressure to the upside and that bears have a higher chance. Well, at least for me, right? That's in the, that's for sales, right? But for buys, I would have to see some sort of break about here to the upside like that, right? I want to see, like, I want to see structure breaking, like low highs being broken, higher highs, higher lows, and higher highs being put in. More importantly, higher lows being put in. That would give me more confidence for a bullish entry. And also, I, I would probably wouldn't even be looking for the, let's say, bulls of a chance if I can't get a a bullish candle closure on the daily, right? So, for bulls, I would love to see uh, possibly a bullish engulfment of this area right here and also a, a, a close above most recent resistance, right? That would be a good sign of price find support. And even if we push up to here, that's good enough. Because now it gives us opportunity to then put in some sort of higher low to start pushing up. All right? So that's what I'm looking at. Um, right now, Solana's at a steal up. I hope, I hope people are buying some. Okay? But since it is still bearish, I'm expecting price to, to maybe or to possibly. It's a good or high probability that price could push down to this level here, at, which is at $70. Because this is the next most recent support. Right? Right now we're in still in this clean traffic area. So let's see what Solana does. 